Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, Man Mike, coming at you guys with more Atlanta Falcons news. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and tell your friend to come chat Falcons football with your boy. Also, join the Man Mike membership for $4.99. All right, it's no longer $1.99, $5.99, $9.99. Check out the Mad Mike membership for $4.99. Um, hey, man, this is some news out of the NFL. I think this is absolutely telling. Um, this isn't uh, something that I would typically uh, share with you guys if I didn't think there's a lot of validity uh, surrounding that. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out the ESPN, um, quote unquote, the ESPN uh, video with uh, Ryan Clark, where he pretty much just gives the Falcons the business because the Falcons aren't tipping their hand. ESPN want the Falcons to hurry up, give them an idea of what the hell they're thinking, and a lot of uh, he pretty much just said the Falcons fucking suck because they are not, you know, tipping their hand. They haven't turned in, um, quote unquote, they haven't turned in anything that pretty much. Uh, states that they are going to take Kyle Pitts or a quarterback or whoever. But um, according to these news, um, I, I'm hearing that Adam Schefter, uh, Jer ESPN Jeremy Fowler, Dan Graziano report that the Falcons are expected to stick at four and select Kyle Pitts and that they're looking hard at the possibility of a running back on day two. All right. We're so close to finding out uh, if any of this is true. All right. This is according to the Falcoholic um, and ESPN's uh, reports from ESPN. So the, uh, the general consistent, uh, uh, the general consensus with the Atlanta Falcons is that they just Kyle is just too good to pass up. And I know a lot of Falcons fans are thinking to themselves that, you know, the Falcons should draft a quarterback, right? Kyle, you know, guys like, um, you know, Mac Jones, um, a guy that I don't feel as though that he will, uh, the Falcons really need him. Or, you know, guys like Justin Fields. Again, this is something that I reported not too long ago that Justin Fields is suffering. He does suffer from epilepsy, all right, seizures and whatnot. Um, the doctors are pretty much gave him a, a clean bill of health that it, it shouldn't be an issue um, as far as his future is concerned. Um, he, he's, he's, he's healthy for the most part. Um, you have a quarterback in Trey Lance. All right, Trey Lance is another guy um, that quite possibly could be taken, you know, by the Atlanta Falcons if the Falcons were to, you know, go quarterback. But Kyle Pitts. It's just too damn special. When you compare him, when you put him with a Julio Jones, you put him with a Calvin Ridley, man, Hayden Hurst, all right, even a, a, a running back like Mike Davis, and the Falcons have another explosive tool in Cordero Patterson. This offense becomes a major, major problem all right it becomes a major problem so when it all comes down to it all right a lot of people all right the the money when you look at the money uh with julio jones uh matt ryan uh, just the salary cap all right the salary cap is a major uh issue right the salary cap is a major issue so drafting the quarterback right now it just doesn't seem like the smart thing to do you're gonna have to pay these quarterbacks all right you're gonna have to pay these quarterbacks 16 to 20 million dollars just to sit on the bench the falcons don't have the money to do so it doesn't make a lot of sense you restructure matt ryan's contract you restructure Deion jones and and uh, jake matthews the falcons just don't have the money all right so Having a guy like Kyle Pitts, you got Calvin Ridley, who the Atlanta Falcons are expected. They are expected to, um, and this is nothing, I don't want to report this too early, but they're expected to pick up the fifth-year option for Calvin Ridley. They are expecting to pick up uh, the option for Hayden Hurst as well. So, um, with that being said, man, that is the news out of the Atlanta Falcons 
Um, look, man, I, I just think when it all comes down to it, man, um, Kyle Pitts is just the perfect player for what the Falcons need. They need an impact player, and he's definitely an impact player. So let me know what you guys think about this, man. Uh, Kyle Pitts, it seems as though that the Falcons are zeroing in on Kyle Pitts with the number four pick in the draft. Let me know what you guys think about it. Leave your comments below. Your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.